Good morning, everybody. I hope your weekend went well. We had it all this weekend. We were uh, in the 80s on Saturday. Uh, high winds because of that big front that was uh, setting up north of us uh, yesterday. Uh, after church, it was still in the uh, low 80s. And then by uh, 3 o'clock, we'd fallen to about 55 big thunderstorms roaring through. And this morning, we awakened to, again, with the high winds, uh, snow on the grass, so it won't stick. We're supposed to be in the 40s when it's all said and done. Uh, we do have a frost coming tonight that if the wheat has emerged in the areas where it has emerged, uh, it's forecast to be 26. That would hurt the wheat crop. So uh, don't be surprised to see uh, grain futures up uh, uh, this morning because of what's happening in the southern central plains. So here we are. Uh, we gapped open and rallied uh, to 125, two and a half, and that was off the Ukraine, Russia news. Uh, government buildings, police buildings, etc., are being taken over by unmarked, quote unquote, ethnic Russian Ukrainians. Uh, they are undoubtedly uh, special forces from Russia. Uh, this is how they took down the Crimea really quickly. They came in, took over all government buildings, uh, started calling for peace, and the uh, Russians to not be attacked or taken advantage of by the Ukrainians. And then Crimea was annexed. Uh, they call for a vote. So right now, if you see Russia starting to call for a vote, uh, to resolve issues uh, in the eastern Ukraine, then we know what template they're operating under. Uh, Russia doesn't have to do a lot more than they already have done to gain control and get Ukraine to do what they want to do. The big danger for Russia is uh, some Ukrainian group gets mad and starts blowing up gas pipelines. And if you're in Russia's shoes, you really can't allow that to happen. So. Uh, my guess is, before this is all said and done, that uh, Ukraine will be a willing, um, I guess, uh, a willing participant with Russia, heavily under the Russian sphere of influence. And for this, they might get a break on gas prices. Uh, Russia has told the West that, hey, you either cough up three to five billion bucks and pay for Ukraine's outstanding gas bill, or we're going to cut off uh, uh, gas flow to Europe. And Russia can do this for very, very short periods of time. But you have to remember that dictators need cash flow, too. And uh, they can't do it for a long period of time. There is above ground storage for natural gas all over Europe. Uh, they can absorb. Uh, some cut off of the natural gas, but um, they can't absorb it for long, and they won't. They'll pay up if that's what it takes. Okay, the big news today will be retail sales, if as forecast. Uh, very, very supportive for stock index futures, equities. Uh, Econoday is carrying plus 1%. Uh, I've seen it on the low side at plus a half. Um, half to 0.8 outside of a day is where uh, the rest of the world has this number. X auto plus a half. Uh, you remember that the uh, last uh, couple of uh, uh, domestic uh, auto and truck sales have been north of 16 million. Very, very supportive. So the automobile sector is still um, booming along. And X, autos, and gas at plus a half. So this news would be a negative for um, financials. And it's countered by the Ukraine and Russia. We've got a B. Uh, the market has rejected prices above 124.31. Uh, last rotate up, uh, we found sellers uh, against 28. So we're going to make our first sell 27 to 31. 
And because we have a B pattern, I'm going to try to buy in the cheap 13 to 17. I like that because of uh, what's going on in Russia. But it may take 21s to get into. I mean, if I knew the news and where it was going to be, we would uh, uh, be easier to make this choice, this call. So we're going to make it uh, 13 to 17, and uh, then 5 to 9. And we're going to make 27.31 for the sell side, then 3 to 7 up above. And uh, we're, we're down to the news. Okay, taking a quick look at the 30-year. Um, Numbers are pretty similar. Uh, we're almost a 10-point spread, not quite. The knob spread came in a couple of ticks over the weekend. So last rotate up, stopped in the 24-28 area. Uh, they did get stops above 135 with a high of 135.02. So we'll make it just basically the same, 27.31. And then 3 to 7. And on the buy side, uh, we're at 20. Uh, last rotate down, stopped at uh, 14. I'm going to open it up a little bit. We're going to make it 9 to 13. And then one to five, just a little, little extra volatility, uh, and we certainly may have to pay twenty um, ones to get in here. Uh, so it's just, you know, it's where the news takes us. So we'll give it just a little extra room, planning for maybe a little contraction in the uh, knob spread. I think what's going on in the Ukraine. Uh, the Ukrainians have to be really, really pleased. The United States is sending Biden over there to talk to them this week. Uh, they have refused to send or supply military arms and ammunition. That's a great partner to have, isn't it? Uh, that you give up your nukes, we'll guarantee, we'll back you, well, maybe. And again, there was some naivete uh, on uh, the Ukrainian part thinking that the United States and Europe would do something that pretty much uh, is really, really pretty far out of their sphere of influence and their nat national um, interest right now. So geographically, uh, the Ukraine is tied to Russia. Uh, Russia is tied to the Ukraine. The Ukraine uh, exports uh, most of its agricultural production to Russia. And that won't change no matter who rules in Kiev. Uh, so um, when the Ukraine gave up their nukes, uh, they gave up their ability to defend themselves against Russia. And I'm not saying the United States or Europe should be in there fighting the Ukraine's battles. I'm just saying that it really would be a stretch to say that it's in the Europe's and the United States national interest to do that. <laughs> yeah, no, no kidding. You know, if you want a perfect example of where you end up when the government runs and controls your entire life, go look at an Indian reservation and the despair and the lack of hope and the quality of services and it, it was one of the few areas that you, I mean, really was very, very comparable to uh, Eastern Europe, uh, the way their physical plant was maintained. In the right, and everything was promised to them, food, education, medical, uh, alcoholism is very, very high. I mean, it's just you don't want to get on that, on the dole, but that's where uh, a lot of America thinks they should be these days. Okay, right here looking at gold. You can see this area at 25 is potential resistance. Uh, 30 basically held um, on um, the overnight. It rallied off of the news in Ukraine, and it actually went a little bit farther. So we're at 22. We've got volume down here at 18. So we'll make peace in the Ukraine. We'll make 15 to 18 by one. 
and then our 10 to 12 by 2. I, you're not going to crack gold no matter what happens in the Ukraine today. It can sell, but the bottom's not going to come out of it. So we still like the uh, buy side better. And right now, we'll start out with 28 to 30. We may have to bring that in. Just see what the news brings. See what the news brings, and then we've got our 33 to 35 with this high volume number up here. Probably going to have to pay up, do something against 20 in gold to get in, but uh, hope springs eternal. Cheap Charlie, right? Okay, Draghi uh, came out over the weekend, and um, um, said that the European Central Bank and European governments are going to have to do a lot more to get those economies going, and so uh, more fiscal stimulus is coming. Uh, inflation's not high enough, and the, the uh, euro is too damn high to export. Uh, outside of the European Union. And naturally, when Draghi picks up the mic, <laughs> he has a big, big, big uh, impact on the market, and the euro sold off of that. And it looks to be pointed lower. So we've got volume just below 138. We're at 138.24. Uh, we have some volume at 38.01, so we'll make buy one. in this 38 area, maybe 38.10. And then we'll pick up this area rejection down here. We'll make it to 75 to 85 for buy two. Again, I did, as you all well know, and I mean, you really, you, you've got to be really aware of this, is that I really don't see, especially with the uh, their central bank, um, talking down the euro every chance they get, why you should be long the euro other than short-term trades. I just think structurally, uh, and their, Europe, the, their central bank has said that we want this thing lower, and it's hard to fight the tape. <laughs> then Asia, the yen, and the United States do things that um, slow them down. But I, I think it's going to be pretty hard not for the euro to trade lower over time. Yeah, you know what's interesting is that a lot of the um, economy on Indian reservations has been based on tax-free cigarettes, tax-free booze, and casinos. And um, Think about that, how these people uh, at the hands of our government, a great government treatment of how they've had to come back in and make a living, and they've done it off of vices. That's not good for them long term either. But it, it just shows you what happens when the government controls your life. It's, and we're, we're going towards that as fast as we can. Okay, London, the high was set in London. Uh, the rhetoric in the Ukraine cooled down, so we got this 104.55 area. We're currently at 103.61. Uh, last rotate up stopped at 103.85, then all the way up to 104.25. So we're going to make, um, we're at 61 right now. We're going to make 90 to 104.10, sell one. And then we're going to make uh, 40 to 60 for sell two. On the buy side, we've got all this volume down here at 40. So we'll, let's make, uh, we're at 61. Might go a little lower. We've got this dent down here. So we'll make 103, 103.25, buy one. May have to pay up. It may take 50 to get in. I, I don't know. Uh, but Cheap Charlie's going to try to buy it a little better.
Okay, the E-mini, uh, the retail sales news, if as forecast, um, um, is would be very, very supportive, and the, the E-mini could bounce off of that. Now, we're going to get some, I, I think we're going to get some really, really good feedback today uh, on the E-mini. If bullish news does not take us higher, uh, then the sentiment is clearly negative. Uh, we've been talking about 1804, 1805 for the last three trading days last week. That's where the market was headed. And I said I don't think we could turn this thing around until we got to the 1804, 1805 area. And there, there's no magic there. It's just a structural call. Uh, the market is selling. We've got an attractor down here at 4. And that's exactly where the market went. Now, we used to laugh and joke about this and call this magic. Um, but it's not magic. I mean, it's where the, if you take out support or resistance, you've got to go to where value is, previous value was. And when you get to that number, that's where you'll have the most resting limit buys and sells. Those that were long from that area will not take a loss. Those who have been short this whole time are willing to pay commissions to get out. And so they tend to bounce uh, the market. Uh, so our call of hitting the 1804, 1805 was satisfied off the uh, news out of the Ukraine. So right now, where is resistance? And we've gotten to this low volume number at 12. So we're back in that same area. We've got volume, most recent in the market's memory, at 20. The market's pushing up. I'm going to assume pretty good news going a little bit higher. So we're going to make the first sell 24 to 26. May have to bring it down lower. And we had that rotate up to 31.50. So then we'll make 29s to 31 for sell 2. But this 20 area, plus or minus, might be it. So we got 104, uh, 103. Uh, to, uh, 1820, that's about, what, 15, 16 points. That's a pretty good range. Um, so we'll see what happens. I, I think we can do a little bit better. On the buy side, um, we've got volume down at 9, so we'll make uh, 10 to 12 buy one on the assumption that we're going to get some pretty good retail sales news, and then we'll make 5 to 7 to buy two, but we'll come back and we'll adjust it off the news. Well, where does the money always go, Jeff? To those that control the checkbook, the leaders. Just a fact of life. You don't, may not like it, but that's the way it is. And whether it's fair or not, everybody can argue over, but it's just a fact of life. Um, those that are in power tend to stay in power. Those that are not would like to be in power. And that tug of war goes on continuously. But again, if you, if you look at where the government, where you end up on the government dole, single family households, kids, lousy education, lousy medical service. On paper you've got medical, but the actual quality of the service is pretty bad. And that's where they're taking the United States as fast as they can right now. And ultimately it's just about power. If you're in the elite, at top a few percent, you're in tall cotton. If you're not, not so nice. Okay, uh, it's going to take me at least 20 minutes to get up and around the horn. I'm going to get busy around that right now. Catch you all after the news.